Given two spawning options between the Northeast Plains and the West Rail Access, I made a swift decision without hesitation. With determination pulsing through my veins, I set forth from the spawn point with a singular goal, to navigate the perilous terrain and reach sanctuary unscathed. Thanks for joining me on this epic packy adventure. Before you dive in, I've got a request. Please stick around till the end of the video. Trust me, there's a lot of excitement awaiting you throughout this journey. And hey, if you enjoy the first part of this adventure as much as I did, I'd love it if you could share it with your friends. Let's spread the thrill of exploration together. In the midst of a foggy and serene sandstorm, the sun struggled to penetrate the thick veil, casting an ethereal glow upon the northest plains of the isle. As Apache Tephalosaurus, I emerged into this surreal landscape, shrouded in a tranquil haze that obscured the horizon. The world around me felt muted, the usual sounds muffled by the swirling sand and mist. Navigating through this obscured terrain, I relied on instincts honed by evolution, feeling each step through the fine particles that danced in the air. I materialized as a determined Pachycephalosaurus. With instincts finely tuned by nature's guidance, I embarked on a quest toward Sanctuary, the oasis where my sustenance awaited. But as fate would have it, my journey to Sanctuary was interrupted by an unexpected obstacle, a vast meandering river, thick and unyielding, blocking my direct path. To continue my pilgrimage, I had to find a way across this watery barrier, a challenge I hadn't foreseen. Undeterred by the daunting expanse of water, I approached the river's edge. Its currents flowed steadily, reflecting the sky above. With a deep breath, I waded into the river, feeling its cool embrace envelop my sturdy frame. Balancing against the current demanded all my focus and agility. The swim proved demanding, the river's force pushing and pulling as I steadily made progress. Beneath the surface, an unseen world teemed with life, hidden from the shimmering waves that marked my struggle. Each stroke forward felt like an eternity, the opposite shore of sanctuary tantalizingly within reach. I pushed on, my determination unwavering, fueled by the promise of reaching the other side. At long last, after what seemed like an eternity wrestling with the river's flow, the opposite shore emerged. With a final surge of effort, I triumphantly stepped onto solid ground, soaked but filled with a sense of accomplishment. The conquered river behind me, sanctuary beckoned, promising the fulfillment of my dietary needs. The challenges faced while traversing the river were a testament to my resilience, affirming that in the isle's wild and unforgiving landscape, my spirit thrived, adapting to every obstacle in the relentless pursuit of survival. In the wake of conquering the first river, another challenge loomed ahead, a second waterway separating me from the coveted sanctuaries. However, this time, a sense of trepidation lingered. Rumors of the lurking presence of a Deinosuchus, a fearsome predator, haunted my thoughts. Despite the fear gnawing at my instincts, the allure of sanctuary persisted. Hope intertwined with caution as I approached the edge of the river, scanning the murky waters for any signs of danger. The possibility of encountering a Dinosuchus heightened the tension, the unknown lurking beneath the surface. With a pounding heart, I cautiously dipped my foot into the water, feeling the ripples spread and my pulse quicken. Every movement felt weighted with anticipation and apprehension, uncertain of what might lie beneath. The crossing was slow and deliberate, each step submerged in uncertainty. Every ripple sent a jolt of anxiety through my frame, fearing the emergence of a shadowy predator beneath the surface. My eyes darted around, scanning for any telltale signs, any glimpse of danger. But I have finally crossed it. As I triumphantly crossed the second river, a sense of relief washed over me. However, my elation quickly shifted to disbelief as a tantalizing aroma filled the air, the distinct scent of the two lines' diet. It seemed impossible as I was still a considerable distance from the safety of sanctuary. Yet there it was, an unexpected feast waiting to be savored. Driven by both surprise and hunger, I followed the irresistible fragrance. My steps quickened as the scent grew stronger, 
guiding me to a surprise bounty that lay ahead. In a clearing not too far from the riverbank, I discovered the source of the enticing aroma, a plentiful spread of the two lines diet, an unexpected gift from the wilds of the isle. Without hesitation, I indulged, relishing every bite until my stomach was contentedly filled. The feast was an unexpected gift in the midst of my journey. Although my original plan was to reach sanctuary for sustenance, this unforeseen banquet provided nourishment beyond my expectations. As I relished the unexpected feast, a sudden cacophony disrupted the tranquility. A guttural growl and the sounds of feasting echoed nearby. My instincts flared with alarm. A ceratosaurus, drawn by the scent of the carcass, had claimed its meal not too far from where I stood. Fear gripped me realizing the perilous proximity of a potential predator. With stealth as my ally, I swiftly altered my course, aiming to navigate discreetly away from the Ceratosaurus towards the direction of Sanctuary. Every movement became deliberate, each step calculated to minimize noise and avoid drawing attention. My heart raced, the urgency to evade the Ceratosaurus urging me onward. Carefully, I maneuvered through the underbrush, utilizing the foliage as cover while maintaining a vigilant eye on the direction of the predator's feast. The sounds gradually faded, reassuring me that I was successfully distancing myself from the Ceratosaurus. Despite the tension that lingered in the air, the yearning for safety within the sanctuary spurred me on. I moved with heightened awareness, cautious yet determined to reach my destination undetected. Finally, as the sounds of the Ceratosaurus faded into the distance, a wave of relief washed over me. With a sigh of quiet relief, I continued my journey, my focus fixed on the distant silhouette of Sanctuary, a beacon of safety amidst the untamed wilderness of the Isle. The encounter with the Ceratosaurus served as a stark reminder of the ever-present dangers in this primal world. Yet, undeterred by the brush with danger, I pressed forward, fueled by the hope of finding refuge and perhaps companionship within the sanctity of sanctuary. Approaching what I'd imagined to be a safe haven, the sight that greeted me within sanctuary was unexpected. Carcasses and scattered meat chunks were strewn across the area, a chaotic contrast to the sanctuary I had envisioned. The realization dawned that safety here wasn't absolute. Caution was still paramount. Among the scattered remains, a crucial element beckoned, an urgent need for the red mushrooms that comprised my essential diet. Amidst the unsettling scenery, I had to remain vigilant, navigating the space while keeping a wary eye on my surroundings. Every step I took required a careful assessment, ensuring my safety amid the apparent chaos. The allure of the red mushrooms, my key sustenance, drove me forward, even amidst the scattered remnants of prey that hinted at the dangers lingering within this supposedly secure haven. I treaded cautiously, scanning the area for the distinct crimson hue of the mushrooms amidst the disarray. The need for sustenance juxtaposed with the need for caution, a delicate balance in this unexpected and less than secure sanctuary. Encountering a fellow herbivore, a diminutive Tenontosaurus within the chaotic confines of Sanctuary brought a rush of relief. Amidst the disarray, the shared goal of finding the red mushrooms bonded us, offering a sense of comfort and companionship. To my surprise, another Pachycephalosaurus, much like myself, joined our pursuit. United by our common need to grow and thrive, we formed an unlikely trio, pooling our efforts in the search for these vital red mushrooms. The other, Packy and I, finally discovered a cluster of the coveted red mushrooms. Side by side, we indulged in the nourishing fungi, consuming them eagerly, driven by the shared desire to hasten our growth and fortify ourselves in this untamed realm. As we consumed the mushrooms, a sense of rejuvenation washed over us. The bountiful feast promised accelerated growth and strength, essential in our quest for survival within the unpredictable landscape of the Isle. The act of consuming the red mushrooms together created an unspoken bond between us, a silent camaraderie forged by our shared pursuit of strength 
and resilience. Amidst the unsettling surroundings of sanctuary, the act of consuming the mushrooms became a symbol of unity and solidarity, reinforcing our shared journey and mutual objectives. A sudden disturbance shattered the tranquility. A juvenile Omniraptor, driven by instinct and hunger, launched an attack on the other Pachycephalosaurus, catching them off guard. Instinct and solidarity surged within me. Without a second thought, I lunged into action, rushing to aid my fellow herbivore companion. Amidst the confusion, I felt the shock of an ambush from behind. What began as a lone raptor attack swiftly escalated into a calculated assault by a pack of predators. Their coordinated strikes targeted every creature within the haven, turning the once peaceful refuge into a battleground. In the midst of the chaotic battle against the Omniraptor pack, an unexpected savior emerged. Bees. Their sudden intervention brought a glimmer of hope amidst the turmoil. Driven by their inherent aversion to adult dinosaurs within the sanctuary, the bees swiftly targeted the aggressors, taking down a raptor or two with their potent stings. Their intervention provided a momentary respite, disrupting the predatory assault and offering a brief reprieve from the relentless attack. A wave of relief swept through me as the bees' unexpected assistance shifted the tide in our favor. Their instinctual defense of the sanctuary became our unexpected ally, momentarily halting the predator's relentless assault. In this unforeseen turn of events, the bees' intervention served as a temporary shield, repelling the Omniraptors and offering a fleeting moment of safety within the chaos of the sanctuary. During the temporary reprieve brought by the bees' intervention, a lingering sense of unease persisted. The distant sounds of the Omniraptor pack's presence echoed ominously, a reminder that danger still loomed perilously close. The rhythmic trotting of the raptors remained audible, a constant reminder that they lingered just beyond the sanctuary's boundaries, biding their time for another opportunity to strike. Their patient waiting game heightened the tension, knowing that stepping outside meant risking an onslaught without the bee's protective shield. As thoughts of the small Tenontosaurus I had encountered earlier surfaced, concern weighed heavily on my mind. The chaos had separated us, and I couldn't shake off the worry about their safety amidst the ongoing turmoil. The memories of our shared pursuit of the red mushrooms resonated, igniting a sense of responsibility. The bond forged in our quest for sustenance propelled me to hope that the Tenontosaurus had found safety or, perhaps, encountered their own allies in this tumultuous environment. Despite the prevailing uncertainty and the lurking threat of the raptor pack, thoughts of the well-being of the fellow herbivore lingered, a testament to the unexpected camaraderie found amidst the chaos of the sanctuary.